Jay the Rap Specialist here at Rap Leaders and even though we wish that all raps went nice and smooth, it doesn't always happen. And it happens on the most difficult vehicles. Here we have a G-Wagon. If you wrap vehicles, you know that this is one of the most difficult cars to wrap. And of course, we're having a little bit of a rough time to make this happen, but it's going. I'm gonna show you what pieces I am struggling with at the moment and what's gonna happen. So, walking over to the side of this vehicle, before I even get to what's going on, you gotta understand that when I wrap this vehicle, I normally wrap this entire area all in one piece. So it makes it super difficult, especially because this vehicle has these uh, hinges on the sides that they kind of pop out. We also have two more here. So when I'm doing this, it becomes super tricky. So we're working our material all the way down as we go. The further down you go, the more difficult it gets. What's happening here is that I got a little bit of bubbling on this line here. Normally you're supposed to feed the material and never bridge it, but for some reason I got a little bit of bubbling there. Not too sure why, but uh, it requires me to redo this door. Even if I heat it, press it down, and make it stay down, there's a high chance that it will come back up. And we don't want that, we don't even want to risk it. So I'm gonna just go ahead, rip the door off, redo. Same thing on that door, I'm gonna redo that one because I see something on the bottom. It's really hard to see it. You really gotta get the right angle to see it on there. But, even from the angle I'm in right now, I don't see anything. But just because I saw it from a certain angle when the light hits it, I'm gonna go ahead and redo this door. I wanna make sure that the customer gets the best quality they can get. And uh, yeah, super tricky to work on these because you wanna make sure that everything gets good coverage. Um, the reason why we wrap this entire piece in one is because of this here. This piece here is all connected, goes all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom all the way around so this little piece here is even connected to this so it goes all the way up and all the way to the back so it's super difficult sometimes things like this can happen because so much is being done in one piece oh well we got to redo it other than that everything has been going smooth on this trickier material to work with compared to the easier films out there but the color is nice no other film has this exact color available. It does seem to have a little bit of pearl in it, so I like it, especially when the light hits it. Yeah, so not an easy car to work with. gotta do it to get things right and uh, good thing it came out smooth since it's fresh on there still and I'm gonna wash it or actually clean it really good uh, clean it up before I start laying the second one I want to make sure that there's no type of wax on there or anything that the dealer maybe put on there that made that happen so gotta take off that door too It sucks to pull out film, but once you finish, it's worth it. Once you see the vehicle all nice, clean, and finished up, I feel like it's definitely worth it because you know that everything on there is good. Like if I were to leave this as it was, I wouldn't be happy. I probably wouldn't be able to sleep at night because of that. So, gotta take it off, do it right. Even if it takes longer or spend some money on extra material like we're doing on this one. Gotta make sure the customer's happy and that makes us happy. Sucks that we gotta throw it away. I don't like wasting it, but happens. Damn. <laughs> All right, so I gotta clean this up, get it nice, prepped up, ready to go, and then I'm gonna start laying it again and redo it. And it should be easier now that I'm gonna wrap the door by itself. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do this door first and then I'll knock out the second one. This here is where it bubbled last time. So what I wanna do is make sure that we feed the material and have absolutely no stretch here. So we wanna make sure zero stretch. I'm holding the material with my left hand so it doesn't touch the bottom as I do this with my finger. We want no type of stretch here. Cause this is exactly where it had bubbled, kind of like that. We should be good there, but just to be extra sure, I use my squeegee right on there before moving forward. So this looks super simple and easy, but this is where most people have issues. I had issues uh, on the first try. So gotta be super careful, make sure you feed it. No type of tension here, no type of stretch. And we're gonna do the same thing, work our way down because we should have another two areas with the same type of issues. Um, so let's continue on down. And here we have the door hinge which also starts to make things a bit trickier. So what I'm gonna do is cut around that. I normally press down on it, and then I pick it up. And I pick it up, I can still see where it used to be at. And I could just cut. So this should make it easier for me to get in here. It relieves some of that tension. And if anything, you could actually cut it the exact size and even better. But that there should work enough for me, then I'll come back over that. And if you notice, I'm also keeping my left hand holding the material. I don't want it to stick to the car. I want to keep it off the car, and then I continue working my way down, feeding it, because we don't want any bubbles. This is where things get tricky, so I will need a little bit of heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, bring it down just a bit. And the reason I'm adding some heat is because of this piece here. I wanna be able to make the material form to this shape. The sides, I'm not too worried about because I can always come back and fix the sides. I'm more worried about the center section. I feel like most people that don't really know, uh, they always say that a G-Wagon and a Jeep Wrangler look super easy to wrap because they are just a box. But they don't keep in mind stuff like this. Like this stuff is tricky, not easy. Most people consider this maybe the hardest or at least the second hardest car to wrap. Same deal up here, you don't wanna stretch the material, you always wanna feed it. This is the same exact thing as the top where you can easily get bubbles, so super careful on these. It's like the top, I have another hinge up here. Gotta do the same thing, just kinda of cut around it carefully. You don't wanna go too far in there. This one here is a bit trickier compared to all <laughs> I cut myself. <laughs> this one here is a bit trickier compared to all other door handle cups because there's nowhere to push the air out. So I kind of got to lift it here, push it to the left, then come back. 
heat it, let it shrink back into place. Get it down. Nice. Cut it out, but I still gotta clean up all these edges, finish up this window section. This one is a bit tricky also. Unlike most other cars, usually the window area is super easy, but on this one, of course, it has to be difficult. And if you were here, you could wrap your cell phone or something. <laughs> Glove. So everything on here looks good. I'm happy with the way it came out. It was a bit trickier on the bottom because of course we're pushing down some of that tension all the way to the bottom of the door, but it did come out smooth. Edges are looking good. I put some extra heat on here, cleaned it like crazy, so we shouldn't have any issues. It does take a bit of extra time, but I like the way it came out, so definitely worth it. Thank you so much for watching.